There was a slight delay in uh, the um, broadcast uh, because of uh, some reasons uh, of the search for the new project. And uh, today our topic is uh, the .NET memory profiling uh, and the cases uh, where it can be uh, extremely useful. So uh, let's start from the practical case and let's see uh, how we can improve our application. So uh, let's assume that we have the uh, university uh, educational application uh, with the uh, batch upload functionality. So this is a real function in uh, the existing application and uh, here we are synchronizing a large amount of data uh, from the batch of Excel files to the database with the existing database. And uh, uh, we have uh, done uh, some refactoring uh, in terms of uh, the parallelization. So we are using uh, the concurrent collections uh, as concurrent back for uh, the entities we are uploading. And here we we are using uh, the parallel queue uh, for all the Excel files uh, to uh, get the data from these files and also we are using the interlock increment uh, for uh, the proper element enumeration but uh, currently uh, the case is a bit different so uh, today we are talking not uh, about the parallelization especially so uh, we are uh, merging uh, the result of the parallel operations here and next we are doing the uh, bulk resort to the database using the uh, bulk extensions but uh, we have some not, some not very obvious case in terms of the memory and performance so let's start from the simple approach so we will uh, launch it in the debug mode and uh, as you can see uh, the in the code we have the breakpoint on the uh, catch so if something will happen uh, we will be notified about that and uh, of course let's use the simple uh, task manager to watch on the performance of the application so okay no, uh, now it's no uh, no uh, the application is idle but let's do the action so we are uploading uh, these files to the application also and let's see on see the statistics so as we, uh, as we see here uh, there is a huge uh, memory raise from something like uh, 60 megabytes uh, up to uh, 160, but uh, we are not sure what has caused this memory raise. And in terms of the CPU, we see that uh, it's not very uh, CPU intensive, but uh, still, uh, while we are using the uh, parallelization, of course, it will there will be a spike, so something like we see here. But there is no no detailed statistic on the memory at all, so and uh, that's not great. So that's why uh, we need such tool as the profiler. So it can be found uh, either here, so dot memory profiler, or we can uh, launch the application directly with the profiler bound by using this option. So profile with memory and let's tick the full allocations. So and what? does this stuff uh, how does the stuff improves uh, our expertise so here we see this graph so the application has launched uh, just nothing happened uh, at the moment of time but we we are seeing the memory graph here so uh, we see the total used memory the unmanaged and the memory allocations by each generation of heap and large object large, large and pinned object heaps uh, also uh, are visible here. So currently the application is not doing anything, but let's put the application here and uh, one moment, let's, yeah, so just uh, to have both the graph and the application are uh, on the sides. And if we proceed with the data upload, at the moment we see that the memory is rising here so and especially in terms of the uh, heap generation tool and here we have the get snapshot button so let's uh, wait for the section to finish and next we will get the snapshot of the memory yes we, we are seeing that the update has finished and next we should get a snapshot of the application so and uh, let's proceed with the investigation of these snapshots. So here we have the memory allocations. Let's 
go with it. And here uh, we see the several types. So uh, the first one is the types, so the allocations all in the size and the objects count per type. And uh, next we have the methods here. So we are seeing the uh, usage of the memory per, mes per different methods. And here we have the call tree and the systems, but it's not so informative. So what do we have the, in terms of the relevant information? So the first one is here. So in terms of the objects, of course, it will be something like a XML loader load this attribute node. So because we are uh, getting the data from the Excel files, so it's completely uh, fine because it's not a very big allocation. But here we see a huge memory allocation in terms of the concurrent back. So it's so for now we can consider that something is wrong when we are working with the concurrent back collection. But it but it could be one of the several collections we are using in this method. And next, if we uh, filter by type, so of course, in terms of the allocations, yeah, it will be something uh, like a uh, million and, uh, and a half uh, for the stream, but it's not too big in terms of the memory. But uh, this one is, is uh, pretty large, so it's even the one gigabyte was allocated in total. So it doesn't mean that uh, this uh, whole memory was allocated in one moment of time, but it was allocated during the algorithm's uh, work. So, and of course, it's a very big, big, big number and it should be optimized. So, and uh, if we proceed with this right part, so uh, we have the stack trace, of course, we can expand it up to the meaningful data when we can determine the exact source of this case. And uh, here we have the enumerable first to default. So, and here we have merge subject function, so we can easily find it in the code. And here we also have the, let me expand it. So, and we have the get enumeration of for this concurrent back. So and let's search for this merge subject function here. And as we can see, uh, we have this. So we have uh, the main function process data, which calls the uh, uh, parse by type. And here we have the two cases with this concurrent back. So we have the subjects here uh, with the merge of the uh, new subject to the existing collection of the subjects. So it's the uh, bunch of the sentences retrieved from the database uh, within the DB context and uh, later converted to the concurrent back. And the next one is the first default on the same collection. But why do we have these uh, gigabyte of allocations? So, uh, because uh, the under the hood, uh, the uh, concurrent back does not have the access uh, to the element by index. And uh, if we go back to the profiler, we see that we have the two array call. So it means that each time we are using something like first to default or uh, the data retrieval me mechanism from the concurrent back, which we obviously need in, in case of the concurrency, uh, we um, under the hood we are uh, calling the to, uh, to array, which is quite expensive if we are talking about the collection uh, with something uh, of uh, three or four thousand of elements, and of course it could be optimized. So, but how we can do that? So here we are searching against the required item just by the subject name, and in this case. Uh, we are also searching uh, by the specific subject name. So, and in terms of the data, uh, we know that it shouldn't be the duplicate data in this collection. So, and uh, obviously it relies to the such uh, data structure as a dictionary. So, because uh, the dictionary uh, has the unique power of the searching by the uh, key, 
and uh, without these uh, these necessary allocations uh, in terms of the memory and uh, necessary operations. So what do we need to change here? So first of all, let's rename this one uh, to the uh, subject dictionary. So let it be it this way. And next it will be concurrent dictionary. Yes, so we have this type, which is also trade safe as the concurrent back, but it's the dictionary under the hood. And of course, uh, we have the key value. So it's uh, also the uh, key value as the regular dictionary. And next we have to add the type of the key. So it will be the string uh, because uh, we have uh, the string name of the subject. And uh, yeah, so it's completely right suggestion uh, from the copilot. So just exactly what I mentioned uh, to type here. Uh, so uh, when we are creating this uh, concurrent dictionary from the existing list, which, uh, which was retrieved from the database, we are using the select statement on it. So and we are selecting uh, for each of the subject uh, retrieved from the database by selecting the uh, subject dot name as a key and uh, the subject as the value. So and next, what we need to refactor here. So of course here when we are uh, using the bulk insert. So of course we couldn't insert the dictionary in, into the uh, DB set, but we can go with the dictionary dot values. So just the collection of the values, uh, ignoring the key collection. Uh, here we can update the parameter to the concurrent dictionary instead of the concurrent back. So let's place uh, these ones on the other line uh, for the readability. And uh, here we have two cases. So the first one is here. So we are searching uh, for the first default when the subject name equals the block name. So we can replace this one with the uh, try get value. So try get value and let's put this block name. So block name and uh, this this one is yeah. So it's not the complete replacement because uh, it it requires us to provide the out parameter. So uh, let it be the out for uh, block subject and next we can go here with the block subject block subject id uh, if the block subject uh, is now of course we will uh, get this value so this one is refactors uh, the next one is the merge subject method. So let's currently create the new method. So because it's used in the other places, uh, which we are not going to refactor uh, in this podcast. So let's uh, call it merge subject optimized. So this one will accept uh, the concurrent dictionary uh, instead of the concurrent back and uh, yes it will be the string string and C subject so uh, here we are gonna uh, to change this mechanism uh, yeah so to this one and uh, yeah so we can place this one with the subject so it's just getting the subject so if it's null we'll, it's not null we will return this value and here we have the also the max so the max uh, on this subject dictionary uh, can be updated with subjects dot values uh, max and uh, here we gonna to retrieve the ID of the the subject and next here are uh, we should use uh, not the add but the try add so because uh, try add is the attempt of adding the subject so it's not the direct addition as it would be in the list or in the list or other collection so try add and let's provide the 
key of the subject.name. So it is the key of this of this dictionary. And uh, next we are gonna to update the usage of this mess of the new method here. So and now let's rerun the profiling. So we can just we can do that just by using the profile with memory. So the same option and it will result in the uh, new attempt of the profiling. So here we have the same picture as it was before and let's load our files. So and let's let's wait for the process to finish and next we will get the snapshot of the data so let's wait a bit and let's look at the memory here and as we can see uh now the we do not have this memory allocation uh, for the uh, subject entity at all. So, because maybe it. Let me. Oh, yeah. Here we can search it. Yes, and as we can see, it's, it's obviously not as it was before. So it's just the kilobytes instead of the one gigabyte of memory allocated during the process. So of course we should repeat uh, should repeat the steps are uh, like uh, like here uh, for the other collections which we are updating uh, but uh, still we have uh, figured out this issue and we have resolved it for this particular type. So and it's a it's a nice uh, case when we should use such a tool as a, uh, as a memory prof profiler so because it's a really it's really handy in these cases and it can uh, easily uh, help you to determine the obvious cases uh, with memory or performance uh, as I have uh, shown here. So, and uh, hopefully this, uh, this podcast will be useful for you. So if you have any kinds of suggestions uh, or uh, things to improve for me, uh, I, I would be really glad uh, for your suggestions and uh, see you later. Bye.